The Nissan GTR is a two-door sports coupe produced by Nissan and first released in Japan in 2007. It is the successor to the Nissan Skyline GTR although it is no longer part of the Skyline range. History Between 1969 and 1974, and again between 1989 and 2002, Nissan produced a high-performance version of its Skyline sedan called the Nissan Skyline GTR. This car proved to be iconic for Nissan and achieved much fame and success on road and track. The Nissan GTR, although no longer carrying the Skyline badge, has heritage in the Nissan Skyline GTR. Like the later generations of the Skyline GTRS, the Nissan GTR is four-wheel drive with a twin-turbo six-cylinder engine and has the signature four round tail lights. However, the GTR is an entirely new model sharing little with its Skyline siblings and is a complete redesign from previous Skylines rather than an incremental evolution. The four-wheel steering HICAS system has been removed and the former straight 6 b 26 DETT engine has been replaced with the new V6VR38 DETT. Because of the GTR's heritage, the chassis code for the all-new version has been called CBA of 35 or a 35 for short, carrying on the naming trend from previous Skyline GTR generations. The GTR has also retained its Skyline predecessor's nickname Godzilla, given to it by the Australian motoring publication Wheels in its July 1989 edition. Additionally, the GTR has carried over the tradition of using a twin-turbocharged six-cylinder engine transmitting power through a four-wheel drive system, much like previous generation GTRs. Concepts. Only two concept vehicles were displayed at motor shows prior to the unveiling of the production model. The first concept was shown at the Tokyo Motor Show in 2001 to preview what a 21st century GTR would look like. At the 2005 Tokyo Motor Show, Nissan unveiled a redesigned concept, the GTR Proto, stating that the production GTR would be 80 euro 90% based on this concept. Production. Production model, the production version of the GTR debuted at the 2007 Tokyo Motor Show, launching in the Japanese market on December 6, 2007. The U.S. official launch was seven months later on July 7, 2008. Universal Nissan in Los Angeles provided a customer with the delivery of a new GTR, fresh from the production line at 12.01 a.m., on July 7, 2008. The Canadian launch was also in July 2008. Europe became the third consumer market, where it launched in March 2009. The large disparity in initial marketing between these regional releases is due to Nissan having to build GTR performance centers where the car is serviced. Also the engine and rear-mounted dual-clutch gearbox are assembled by hand, thus limiting global production capacity to around 1,000 cars a month. Fuel economy. 16 to 23 mpg design nissan chief creative officer shiren nakamura has likened the new gtr to the giant robots of the gundam series nakamura stated the gtr is unique because it is not simply a copy of a european designed supercar it had to really reflect japanese culture nissan's american designers sculpted the rear three quarters of the vehicle while their european designers sculpted the roof lin Polyphony Digital, creators of the Gran Turismo series of motor racing video games, were themselves involved in the development of the GTR, having been contracted to design the GTR's multifunction display. Nissan PM Platform, the GTR is currently the only model built on Nissan's premium midship platform, an evolution of the front midship architecture introduced in its 2001 Skyline. It is a hybrid unibody assembled on ultra-low tolerance jigs similar to those used in race car construction. Aluminum is used for the hood, trunk lid and outer door skins, with die-cast aluminum front shock towers and inner door structures. Outer body panels are stamped using multiple strike coining process for added rigidity and precision. The chassis is stiffened with a carbon composite front cross-member radiator support. Exterior Nissan developed a six-stage paint process with double clear coat and chip-resistant paint for use in critical areas of the GTR chassis. An optional liquid effect finish employs a hand-polished eight-stage process with product-specific super-silver metallic paint and three layers of clear coat. 
optional features, the premium Nissan GTR has a body-colored rear spoiler whereas the Black Edition has a dry carbon fiber rear spoiler. Both the premium and Black Edition GTR are fitted with high-intensity discharge headlights, automatic on-off headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED tail lights and brake lights, dual heated body color power outside mirrors, power folding outside mirrors, flush mounted aluminum door handles, 4 5 inches exhaust outlets with polished tips and UV reducing solar glass. For the 2014 model year, Nissan introduced a limited production track edition GTO which deletes the rear seats and adds more aggressive suspension, carbon fiber air inlets, improved brake cooling, a unique front spoiler, and new black and gray leather Recaro front seats. Specifications The Nissan GTR is powered by the VR38 DETTV6 engine, a 3800 cc DOHC V6 with plasma transferred wire arc sprayed cylinder bores. Two parallel Ashir Kawajima Harima Heavy Industries turbochargers provide forced induction. Models manufactured between 2007 and 2010 produce a manufacturer claimed engine output of 492 RPS at 6400 RPM and 434 LBA FT at 3200 Euro 5200 RPM. The engine also meets California Air Resources Board Ultra Low Emission Vehicle Standards. A curb weight of 1,730 or 1,736 a kg with side curtain airbags is achieved using a jig welded steel chassis with aluminum used for the hood, trunk, and doors. A rear mounted six speed Borg Warner designed dual clutch semi automatic transmission built by Aki Machine Industry is used in conjunction with the Atisa ETS system to provide power to all four wheels and along with Nissan's vehicle dynamics control to aid in stability. Three shift modes can also be selected for various conditions. Beginning in 2010, engine power and torque were upgraded to 390 a kilowatt at 6400 rpm and 612 an rm at 3200 euro 6000 rpm respectively. Models produced in 2012 again featured improved engine output at 6400 rpm and 628 an rm at 3200 euro 5800 rpm. In the near future, it is speculated that the GTR might even be available as a hybrid. 2011 Facelift The revised GTR features an engine with revised mapping, changes to valve timing, larger inlets and a revised exhaust system which boosts rated power to 530 a bhp and 612 Nm of torque from 3200 to 6000 rpms. Changes also include a new more rigid front strut bar made from carbon composite, larger front brake rotors, new lighter and stiffer wheels, and revised Dunlop tires. Cosmetic changes include a new front bumper with integrated LEDs. The front bumper improves cooling to the radiator and front brakes while reducing drag. A new rear diffuser improves downforce and also includes additional rear cooling ducts. The interior was revised to improve the quality. The revised GTO went on sale in Japan from mid-November 2010 and February 2011 in Europe, North America and other regions. Spec V Nissan introduced the GTO Spec V on January 7, 2009 at the 2009 Tokyo Auto Salon. Exterior changes from the base GTO consist of a carbon fiber rear spoiler, grille, and brake ducts, along with an exclusive ultimate black opal paint job. Interior changes include a set of carbon fiber Recaro front seats with the rear seats being completely removed. Carbon fiber covers the center storage box, instrument panel, and replaces the majority of the interior trim. The GTR Spec V is powered by the standard twin-turbo 3799 cc V6 with no increase in horsepower. A new high gear boost controller that allows a temporary increase in boost pressure to the IHI twin turbochargers, now larger than those on the standard GTR, should deliver more torque in mid to high range revs. Other mechanical changes include a titanium exhaust, reworked suspension, carbon ceramic brakes, and 20 inch Nismo wheels. Overall weight is decreased by 132 LB over the standard GTR.
Japan's sales began on February 2, 2009 at seven pre-selected dealers who are staffed by mechanics with special GTS Spec V training and are knowledgeable of racing circuit driving. Pricing is set at A15,750,000 yen. Nissan has yet to announce any plans to sell the Spec V in the USA. In Auto Express testing the Spec V posted a 0 a Euro 60 a mile per hour time of 3.20 seconds, pulled 1.12 g on the skid pad and 74.7 a mile per hour in the slalom. An earlier tested Corvette ZR1 resulted in an identical slalom speed but a lower 1.06 g on the skid pad. Performance Nissan states the GTR can reach a top speed of 193 mile per hour. Motor Trend recorded a top speed of 195.0 mile per hour. In tests, the original production model was shown to be capable of achieving 0 60 mile per hour times as low as 3.2 seconds using launch control. Owners expressed concern that duplicating the times achieved in these tests would void their factory warranty. Nissan's chief vehicle engineer Keizatoshi Mizuno has indicated that he has never used the term launch control, which refers to the act of turning off vehicle dynamic control and launching the car at around 4,500 rpms. However, Nissan's director of product planning John Wiener stated in an interview with Jay Leno that we actually offer a launch mode. The GTA user's manual states that turning off the VDC is only meant for escaping low traction situations such as mud or snow. Nissan has reprogrammed the 2010 model year GTA to reduce the engine speed at launch to around 3,000 to 3,500 rpms with VDC enabled, which is meant to improve acceleration times. The new programming was also installed on old 2009 vehicles still in Nissan's inventory and is available for existing 2009 vehicles. The new updated GTR however now has a launch mode, which Nissan calls a mode start, and is activated by setting the transmission and VDC to a mode, holding the brakes, then the throttle, and finally releasing the brakes. The engine speed is now held at 4000 rpms in this mode, and it no longer voids the warranty. However, the system allows a maximum of four consecutive hard launches before locking itself out, after which it can be unlocked by driving normally for 1.5 miles. The increased engine output of later models combined with the air mode start has lowered the 0 60 mph time to 2.7 a seconds. Motor Trend achieved a standing quarter mile time of 11.6 as at 120.0 mph. Autocar achieved a 0 100 mph time of 8.5 seconds. With a manufacturer claimed lap time of 7, 26.7 on the base model's Dunlop tires and previously 7.29 a min on standard Japanese market tires, the GTR is currently one of the fastest production cars to lap the NAR 1 quarter Ruberger in Nordliff circuit, although Porsche accused Nissan of falsifying those claims in September 2008. Porsche claims to have conducted their own test of the GTA using no modifications and stock tires and achieved a best time of 7.54. Nissan officially disputed Porsche's claim in October 2008. The German magazine Sport Auto achieved a time of 7.50 on an R1 quarter Rebergring with a car supplied to them by Nissan during an initial short test in 2007. While testing by Drivers Republic of a GTA and GT2 in stock form resulted in times of 7.55 for the GTA and 7.49 for the GT2 respectively. Both tests were conducted in partially damp conditions and by automotive journalists rather than professional track drivers. In 2009, in a full super test Sport Auto achieved a time of 7.38 minutes on the NAR one quarter Rebergring with a standard GTR driven by Horst von Salmer identical to a later super test Corvette ZR1 time. In a first test with the facelifted GTR model, Sport Auto recorded a lap time of 7.34 on the NAR one quarter Rebergring with a standard GTR driven by Horst von Salmer. In October 2012, the GTR once again held a new NAR one quarter Rebergring lap time. It broke its old record with a new time of 7.18 setting at the ninth fastest ever production car at NAR one quarter Rebergring. Comparison tests, the GTR has frequently featured in head-to-head -head track comparisons against competing vehicles conducted automotive press. 
Autocar performed several head-to-head -head comparisons involving the GTO and competing vehicles. In the first, against the Porsche 911 GT3 and BMW M3, the GTO was declared to be faster around the test track. A second test on the Isle of Man on a 4.5 km closed public road, featured with the Audi R8, Lotus Elise, and Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4. The GTR's time of 1, 56.69 was behind the Gallardo's 1, 55.99 time, however because the GTO was Japanese spec its top speed was limited to 112 mph, which led the journalists to believe it could have performed better. In CAR magazine's test with the 911 Turbo, BMW M3, and Audi R8 at Rockingham the GTR was the fastest. Evo tested the GTR alongside the 911 GT3 at the Bedford Auto Rome circuit, the GTR ran a 1, 21.7 lap time compared to GT3's 1, 22.6 time. In a fifth gear test with the 911 Turbo. Bruno Senna was able to achieve faster lap times in the GTR. Car and driver compared the GTR on Reno Fernley Raceway with the 911 Turbo and BMW M3. The GTR's lap time of 1, 26.7 made it the fastest on the track. Road and track was able to achieve quick lap times with the car on Button Willow Raceway, clocking in at 1. 56.9 which was over 5 seconds faster than the Chevrolet Corvette C6 Z06 and 911 Turbo. In an Edmunds.com six-way test on the streets of Willow and an improvised mountain road, the GTR posted faster times than the Audi R8 and Porsche 911 Carrera. Autobild compared the GTR with the 911 Turbo and V10 Audi R8 at Contadrome, the GTR's time of 1. 30.95 placed it ahead of both the Porsche 911 and the Audi R8. In another auto car comparison with the PDK 911 Turbo and V10 Audi R8 on the Castle Coombs circuit the GTR's lap time of 1, 14.6, was faster than the 911's time of 1, 14.9 and the R8's 1, 15.5 lap time. In December, auto. Motor Run Sport published a comparison between the GTR, PDK 911 Turbo and the Audi R8 V10. Around the small Hockenheim ring circuit, the GTR achieved a time of 1, 12.0 against the 911's 1, 11.5 and the Audi's 1, 12.3. The Sport Auto magazine had tested the GTR on the small Hockenheim ring circuit and had recorded a lap time of 1. 10.7 during the full supertest. In July 2009, CAR magazine published a comparison of the revised 911 GT3 and the GTR at the Nürburgring. A time of 7.49 was achieved for the GT3 and 7.51 for the GTR. It should be noted that these times are not directly comparable to previous Nürburgring tests, as they included a section of track near the pits normally excluded from timing. At Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch Road and Track managed a 1, 20.9 lap time compared to the ZR1's time of 1, 20.1 and the 911 Turbo's time of 1, 21.3. In another Motor Trend comparison at the streets of Willow, driver Randy Pobst's lap time of 1, 20.25 in the facelifted GTO was slightly faster than the competing Corvette Z06 equipped with optional carbon ceramic brake rotors. On Willow Springs International Motorsports Park, Edmunds.com was able to achieve lap times of 1, 25.09 with the 2009 GTR compared to the Corvette ZR1's time of. On the Las Vegas Motor Speedway and Field Road course, Motor Trend was able to achieve lap times with a GTR that were almost as fast as the Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano and 911 GT2 and 1.2 seconds slower than a Corvette Z01. The pre-2011 GTR currently holds a lap time of 1, 19.7 around the Top Gear test track, with the facelifted GTR holding a time of 1, 17.8, equaling the Pagani Zonda F Club Sport beating the Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 by 2.6 seconds, damp lap for ZR1, and being the fastest Japanese car to lap the track. On Top Gear Australia's test track the GTR posted a lap time of 1, 
putting it in second place 0.14 seconds behind the 997 GT2. Motorsport, Super GT. Nismo, the motorsport arm of Nissan, entered the Nissan GTR in the Super GT race series in the GT500 class for the 2008 season, replacing the Nissan 350Z. The GT500 version of the car has a completely different drivetrain compared to the production car. The race car is upgraded to a VK45 DE 4.5 liter naturally aspirated V8 instead of the twin turbo V6 VR38 DETT. It uses a six speed sequential manual gearbox and a WD layout from its predecessor, the 350Z race car. A prototype was spotted testing around the Suzuka circuit as well as Fuji Speedway in Japan. The car went on to win the opening race of the 2008 Super GT season at Suzuka scoring a 1-2 finish for Nissan. The dominant performances in the opening race has led to all GTRS being applied a 50 kg weight penalty in addition to the race weight penalty under the special adjustment of performance under the Super GT regulations. In race 2, the GTR repeated their 1 Euro 2 result in Suzuka despite the race winning car of Team Nismo carrying a 100 kg weight penalty making it only the third team in JGTC Super GT history to do so. The last time this feat was achieved was 10 years ago by Nismo's Skyline GTR racing under the same number 23. Despite the weight handicap, it did in fact become the champion in this 2008 season through the Xonavi Nismo GTR driven by Satoshi Mortmayama and Benoit Trelouire, as well as winning eight out of nine races driven by four different teams using GTRS. The GT500 version scored four victories in the 2009 Japanese Super GT Series GT500 class. In 2010 the VK45 DE 4.5-litre engine was replaced by a newly developed 3.4-litre engine. It also is the 2011 and 2012 champion. Team Mola GTR with drivers Ronnie Quintarelli and Masataka Yanagida got back-to-back -back championships in both team and driver in the Super GT500. FIA GT GT1 World Championship On February 27, 2009, Nismo announced a partnership with British racing team Gigawave Motorsports to enter a GTR in four races in the 2009 FIA GT Championship season. The entry did not compete for championship points, but was used by Nismo to refine the performance of the GTR for future customer teams to use the car in the planned FIA GT1 World Championship in 2010. Nismo driver Michael Crum and Gigawave driver Darren Turner will co-drive the GT1 GTR. The sumo-powered GTR won the 2010 RAC Tourist Trophy at Silverstone Circuit as part of the FIA GT1 World Championship on May 2, 2010. The 2011 season saw Swiss racing team switch to Lamborghini which left Sumo Power running four GTRs, two under the sumo-powered GT name and two under Junior Motorsports. Junior Motorsports won the Drivers' Championship for the 2011 season. GTR Nismo GT1 Designed and produced specifically to compete in the FIA GT1 World Championship, the GTR Nismo GT1 is based on the road-going version of the legendary Nissan GTR and was the only car to have ever been constructed implicitly to the GT1 technical regulations. The GTR Nismo GT1 is powered by a NISMO race prepped VK56 DE, a naturally aspirated V8 engine that displaces 5,552 cc's. It measures 80.3 inches in width, 186.2 inches in length, and has a wheelbase of 109.4 inches. Displacement DOHC naturally aspirated V8 front mid engine 5,552 cc, horsepower, 600 PS, valves per cylinder, 4, torque, 479.35 lbaft, drivetrain, RWD, curb weight, 1250 kg, transmission, Ricardo 6 speed transaxle, sequential shift lever, 5.5 a euro carbon triple plate clutch, suspension, adjustable suspension with double wishbones front and muti link rear, brakes. Brembo 6 piston calipers with carbon discs and pads, tires, front and rear Michelin 3171-18, GTR Nismo. GT3. 
The GTR Nismo GT3 is powered by the VR38 DETT, a twin turbocharged V6 engine that displaces 3,799 cc's. It measures 80.15 inches in width, 188.19 inches in length, and has a wheelbase of 109.45 inches. Displacement DOHC twin turbo V6 front mid engine 3,799 cc, horsepower. 600, 608.3 picoseconds, 447 kW at 6500 rpm, valves per cylinder, 4, torque, 510 lbaft at 5000 rpm, drivetrain, premium midship RWD, curb weight, 1300 kg, brakes, front 6 piston caliper rear, 4 piston caliper, drag coefficient, 0.26, transmission, 6-speed sequential racing transmission in transaxle configuration with multi-disc limited slip differential and traction control, suspension, adjustable suspension. With double wishbones front and multi-link rear, extras, semi-automatic paddle shift, tires, front 330-710-18, rear, 330-710-18, MSRP, JPY for Japan, Asia. North South America A39,800,000 yen Japanese yen. Manufactured on demand. Top speed, 218 mile per hour. Other categories, A production based GTR made its world motorsport debut in Australia's Targa Tasmania Tarmac Rally in April 2008, however it sustained damage early in the event and did not complete the rally. Later in 2008 a GTO won the competition modern class in the Targa West before returning to Targa Tasmania in 2009 to take the outright win in the modern class. In 2009 Nissan's GTO won the one lap of America competition. In 2010 the GTO finished second overall in the one lap of America competition. During the 2010 SCCA World Challenge season, a pair of GT Class GTRS were campaigned by Brass Monkey Racing and driven by Steve Ott and Tony Rivera. On June 4, 2010, Nismo announced a club track edition GTR available via its Nissan supported Omari aftermarket factory. This domestic market trim is a non street legal, race ready variant equipped with a six point roll cage and upgraded with Nismo Race Package developed through its Tokachi Endurance Racer program. On June 25 and 26, 2011, the number 71 Shilze Motorsport Nissan GTR took part in the 24 Hours of NAR One Quarter Rebugger in 2011, driven by Michael Shilze, Tobias Shilze, Kazuma Yamauchi, and Yasuyoshi Yamamoto. The car finished the race in 36th place overall, achieving a victory in the SP8T class after overcoming several technical problems. It was the first time a Nissan GTR took part in the 24 hours of NAR one quarter rebergering. In the following year, Nissan participated the SP8T class with two club track edition GTRS as works team, which driven by Team Nissan and Team GT Academy, both cars completed the race in 99th and 30th and overall respectively a Euro through they are the only entries in SP8T class that year. On July 7, 2011, a Nissan GTO was spotted testing at the Ciudad del Motor de Araga Cube Den for a possible FIA GT3 European Championship entry. Not much is known about the car currently, the car appears similar to the GT1 car, but it is likely the internals will be far different due to GT3's much lower power restrictions. After market tuning, despite early concerns about the difficulty of modifying the Nissan GTR, Many aftermarket tuning parts are now available. The previously reported untunable ECU has since been hacked by several tuning houses. Cobb Tuning was the first company to access the GTR's encrypted ECU. With their access port anyone can reprogram both the engine and transmission control units with off-the-shelf or custom maps. Mines also has limited control of the ECU, and others have bypassed the unit. They have been seen testing modified GTRS with a former two having conducted tests at the Tsukiba circuit. EQC Tuning on the other hand was the first company to manipulate and change shift points on the GTR in the TCM on automatic mode. This can be done at will by the driver. 
EQT also allows the driver to adjust launch control on the fly available with a wraparound boost gauge that can read over 20 psi. Like Cobb tuning, EQT currently offers engine tuning on the ECU and TCM with different launch control software from LC1 up to LC5. EQT's Rasurum offers in addition valet mode, per cylinder fueling, race ROM launch control, speed density, map switching, enhanced targeted boost control, upshift boost spike prevention, per gear boost control limit, per gear rev limits, Rasurum boost control. MAF left right swap for custom intercoolers, large fuel injector support, and visual knock warning. On January 16, 2013, EQT also became the first company to construct and offer flex fuel hardware and software capability for all Nissan GTRs. This fuel kit requires the EQT specific TCM. The kit provides changes in the cold start cranking compensation, changes to the maximum target boost. Changes in the ignition timing, changes to target airflow, changes in cam timing, and changes in the fuel economy gauge reading all based solely on ethanol content in the gas tank. Currently, EQT offers more overall tuning options and features for facelifted Generation 2 DBA Nissan GTRs than Cobb tuning. Japan based Tuner Mines has created the VR38 DETT Super Response Engine, which uses lightened engine internals like titanium rods, lightened pistons, and many other components that allows the engine to rev up fast. The Mines GTR has always been one of the most sought after GTRs in the world for its highly responsive driving feel with the right amount of power at 800 PS. In a review by Motor Trend editor Scott Kanamura, it was revealed that the GPS system fitted to the GTR would remove the 180 km per hour speed limiter when the car arrives at a racetrack, but only on tracks approved by Nissan. Aftermarket ECUs have been developed to bypass the speed limiter, in addition to standalone speed limiter defeaters. The GPS check will not be implemented in American models. In August 2008, Nissan's official motorsport and tuning arm Nismo announced the club sport tuning package for the GTR. The package, which is also fitted to the Spec V, includes Bilstein Damtronic compatible dampers, 20 inches forged aluminum wheels from Ray's Engineering, Bridgestone run flat tires, Recaro carbon fiber shelled bucket seats, a titanium exhaust, and a revised rear diffuser with an added cooling duct. The package is supported by a warranty and saves over 20 a kg. AMS Performance, based in West Chicago, Illinois, has set record power levels and performance numbers for the GTR. Their Alpha Omega GTR puts down between 1700 to 1750 WHP and boasts 0 to 60 times of 1.7 seconds according to their staff on their official Facebook page. In June 2013, Omega set multiple world records at the Wanna Go Fast One Half Mile Shootout at Bald Field Airport in Minnie, Illinois, which included 214.04 a mile per hour in a standing one half mile, 60 130 a mile per hour in three seconds, 0 100 a mile per hour in 4.4 seconds, 0 200 a mile per hour in 11.87 seconds. In July 2013, AMS regained their world record when Amiga ran 8.259 at 185.18 mph. A few days later, Omega broke into the sevens when it ran a 7.98 at 186.14 mph, currently making it the quickest and fastest GTR in the world, as well as the first GTR to reach the nines, eights, and sevens. During the evening of the seven-second pass Omega broke a couple of other records. Omega bested its previous 60 Euro 130 a mile per hour time with a staggering 2.67 seconds. Omega also broke the 100-150 a mile per hour record which was previously held by an underground racing TT Gallardo with an astounding 2.45 seconds. The AMS Performance Alpha Omega package functions more as a shop research and development vehicle which is the reason why it is not available to the general public. However, anybody can purchase the Alpha 6, Alpha 9, Alpha 10, Alpha 12, Alpha 14 and Alpha 16 packages, each respectively with approximately 600, 900, 1000, 1200, 
1,400 and 1,600 wheel horsepower when installed and tuned. AMS Performance also holds the world speed record for the GTR by using a Russian private owner's 2012 Nissan GTR and tuning it to 1,700 horsepower to achieve the speed of 386 a km per hour. The Nissan GTR played a main role in Fast and Furious 6. The car in the widely successful movie has modified bumpers, new vented hood, modified fenders, side sills, carbon doors, carbon roof, and carbon spoilers. Awards and recognition, total sales, statistics by U.S. model year, references. Further reading, Garoji, Alex. Nissan GTR, Legendary Performance, Engineering Marvel. Minneapolis, Motorbooks PPA 192 pages. ISBN A-978-0-7603-3013-0. External links, Nissan GTR official global site, Nissan GTR press information, Nissan GTR Nismo GT3, Nissan GTR 0-60 times.